Hi, hello, how my name is James and I'm here to give you a quick talk of the Action RP 7.0 uh, wireframing tool. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, about nine different areas that makes up uh, the Action RP software. Uh, we're going to be looking at the startup screen, the menu, the sitemap, the widget, the masters. We're going to be looking at the widget interaction and notes and widget properties and styles. We're going to be looking at the widget manager and we're going to be looking at um, page notes, page interaction and page style. So um, let's get started. I've already started Hackshow so I'll just open it up and uh, yep. Yeah. If you look at Hackshow it's you know you'll be familiar with the interface anyway it looks you know similar to some other application that you find in terms of the layouts and uh, everything this is um, 7.0 actually and the um, it's better as is still you know in development stage I'm gonna show you that uh, as well um, but um, this video is focusing on the 7.0 version um, well the site was on our list again we're going to be looking at the menu um well the menu you have the file the id the view the project uh, as you can see you know you can open new actual um, project you can open recent projects you can save as save as yeah that's um you you'll be familiar with it if you use a uh, desktop application regularly um, it did you know, normal the paste the copy spell check and things like that also uh, the view yeah just normal how you want your page to be laid out uh, we're going to be looking at um, other menus as well but one of the most important menu you will be using mostly in actual will be the publish menu you'll be previewing your project using it you'll be uh, making some configuration you'll be publishing your project to actual and also if you're working within a team this is where you can actually um, set that up as well um, the next thing on our list is the sitemap uh, as you can see this is the sitemap and um, currently it shows that we have four uh, pages including the home page um, if you're familiar with sitemap it's like a directory to your website and um, yeah so if you're familiar with uh, web development as well um, home pages uh, normally refer to as the index page so if I remove each page now if i remove any page you can see the sitemap number is changing to two and if i remove it only shows that it's one um project uh, um i do yes yeah, so you can have that and you can delete everything as well if you want to you can create that and name it as uh, anything you want to name it so yeah let's just leave it as home um yeah so you can see when you click the home page um, the window area here you can see the page so it shows you that you are working on the home page and the next thing we're going to look at is the widget area um, this is the widget area for your shapes and everything as you can see you can load um, you can view our library you can have the default library which is just going to show you the common one that comes with actual um, you can have some flow if you want to design page flows and um, user journey things like that you can also load new libraries as you can see i've loaded um, font awesome on my um on my system so i can have um, this nice uh, shapes and yeah icons and the 
the thing with the font awesome is that you don't increase them with the height because it won't you only you increase them using the font size so if i want to make it more bigger i can increase it to 100 and yeah and the color you have to use the font color as well so let's say i want to put it to orange you have that something like that so it's very good uh, it save you from using um, inconsistent icons or different icons with different colors and that is why you uh, i like to use the font awesome um the next thing we're going to be looking at is the masters now the master is um, to explain to you in a very simple terms um if you look at any websites you'll find out that websites are mainly divided into um, different categories oh you have the header you have the body you have the footer and the body can be divided into one column two column three column like that rows and column and yeah anyhow you want to do it so if you look at master what masters gives you is that it gives you uh, any widget that it's going to be consistent across all pages so your master it, um, if you look at any website you notice that the footer on the on each website is consistent in all website pages for example if we go to linkedin now um, you can see that this this is the header and it's consistent across all pages so even if i yeah, view my uh, profile now you can see the header is consistent you don't get different headers so something like that is what you use um, the masters for also you know, things like the footer as well is consistent across the board so yeah this is just my um, this is my portfolio i'm still um updating things and making sure everything is okay yeah so also what you can use master for is uh we can use master for things like buttons things like um product um display if you look at any e-commerce website for example the um product display is always consistent you want it to be consistent across all pages so for example if we look at um, this website one shop market uh, one of the one of the projects I worked on um, you can see the header is consistent across all pages um, you have the footer as well it's consistent across all pages yeah so something like that is what you use it for it's taking time to load anyway but um, yeah. Yeah, yeah so and you can see the product is consistent the layout everything is consistent about the product so that's what you use um, masters for we also going to look at the widget interaction and note yeah the widget interaction and node is where you can add uh, some interaction to your widget like i said actual is a prototyping tool so um let's assume let's go to our library let's say we have this shape this is a rectangle shape once you drop a shape into your design area you have um you can name your shape name it's always advisable to give your shape a name so that you can recognize them when you are making an interaction and the interaction you have you know um the default interaction here which says the uh, on click event uh on mouse enter and mouse house and you can get more events from clicking more events um you can add page notes you can add whatever you want to describe for your developers because at the end of the day actually it's just a prototyping tool you don't necessarily have to worry yourself 
to design every single thing you want a developer to do so most of the time you have to use a page node and um, yeah interaction to explain to your developer what you want a particular thing to do so if i want um, um, the color of this to change you can you know make uh, an interaction for that but we're not going to be talking too much about that we're just going to look at it generally overview um, also the next thing we're going to be looking at will be the page property and style as you know in every um, software for any form of development you you realize you have um, properties and styles so this triangle now you can increase it you can you know you can make it round you can you know, make it any shape you want and you can also change the color so if you want to change the color you come to this style you can change the color if you want to you can change the color here or you can just go to the top menu and just change the color here to black you can give it shadows anything you want to do you can do it within the properties and style and also within the menu here um yeah so basically that's what you can do with that and also you can have some interaction if you want to the next thing we're going to be looking at is the widget manager um the widget manager gives you um an overview of what your what the, the page you are working on specifically so we're working on the home page right now we've dropped a shape here if i'm to convert this shape to dynamic panel everything comes to the widget manager so if i create another page and i click on that page this page home page everything here will not be related to what is in the new page that i've created so this helps you manage every properties every widget that you've have some interaction probably make it dynamic panel you can easily manage them here you can you know you can delete them you can increase them you can um, you can duplicate the states yeah and, and things like that so but we're not going to we're not going to be focusing on the um on much detail for now the next thing we're going to work is the page node the page interaction and the page style the page note and the page interaction well this just gives you you know you can just write anything you want to write here about a particular page so once you've designed your wireframe you've designed a particular page let's say you've designed a product page and you've done all your interaction and you want to um, explain some other feature that may not be easy to implement within actual you can add a note here and also let them let the developer know what you want to to achieve within a particular page and the page interaction the page interaction is different from the uh, widget interaction the page interaction takes control of the interaction you can do within a page um, why the widget interaction just uh, talks about what you can do with a particular shape so uh, and then the page style so how you want your page to to be viewed on a browser uh, for me i normally center all my design and i normally make the horizontal center and the vertical alignment center and if you have any back page you can uh, import the back page here as well and you can make the back page fill the entire screen also for stickiness you can decide to increase the stickiness of it and as you can see um, in this page you can see the shape looks a bit like something you draw with a pencil yeah it kind of gives the um, feel that um, it's a prototype you're creating because one of the disadvantage of creating a high fidelity wireframe is that once your wireframe start becoming too detailed and too graphic 
then your clients start wondering is this a finished product and for you to explain to them that it's not a finished product then you have to really really try to convince them because some of them might think oh this is very nice the wireframe is cool okay can we just develop the website today so so be careful developing high fidelity wireframe and also refrain from using colors okay you can ask you can use few colors but you know refrain from making it look exactly like the final product will look like because the last thing you want your client to think is oh this website can be developed within one week and you know it can be developed even in in one month so yeah you need to think about that as well i think uh, that is the last uh, thing we are going to be talking about in this demo and in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at um, how we can create a simple website one page style website you know all this site that you see that is that has only one page where you can have about five pages but everything is all one page style i'll show you what i mean in the next tutorial thank you very much for watching goodbye